Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have Sacred Heart High School. <laughs> Taking on Hingham High School. <laughs> Next on High School Quiz Show. Need to file a claim? With Safety Insurance, you can use the latest technology or you can call your local independent agent. Either way, Safety Insurance is committed to providing customer service that can help you manage life's storms. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, 110 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. And the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. And today's matchup has Hingham High School taking on Sacred Heart High School of Kingston. On the Hingham team, uh, we have Noah, Zach, Kyle, and Dan. The alternate on the sidelines is Jack and Coach Glenda Garland. How about it for Hingham? <laughs> and for the Sacred Heart team, we've got Jake, Jonathan, Derek, and Nathan with the alternate Josh and coach Sean Cunningham. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So everybody, teams, audience, if we're ready, let's play. High School Quiz Show. At his State of the Union address in January 2016, President Obama announced a cancer moonshot, an initiative that would be led by what vice president? Yes, Zach. Joe Biden. Correct. England is connected to France via what undersea rail tunnel? Yes, Jake. The tunnel. Yes. In the children's book, The Little Engine That Could, a small blue engine repeats what phrase as it pushes a long train up a high mountain, a seemingly impossible task? Yes, Jake? I think I can. Yes. Uh, archaeologists theorize that early humans entered North America from Asia by crossing over what strait that was once a land bridge? Yes, Jake? The Bering Strait. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Uh, pictured here is what lawyer who successfully argued against segregation in Brown versus Board of Education and later became the first African-American justice on the U.S. Supreme Court? Jake? Thurgood Marshall. That is correct. Name the kind of cell division in which the number of chromosomes is reduced by half. Yes, Kyle? Meiosis. Yes. Uh, what Pennsylvania River is the namesake of an iconic covered wagon used by early migrants to cross the Appalachian Mountains leading west? Yes, Derek. Conestoga. Yes. Discovered in 2012 by the New Horizons spacecraft, Styx is the fifth and smallest moon known to orbit what celestial body? Yes, Derek. Mars. No, hang them. You want to try? Yes, Zach. Saturn. No, Pluto is the answer. All right, take a look at your screens again because uh, the next question is coming up right now. Hi, I'm David Malin, and I teach CS50 at Harvard University. Here's my question. Alan Turing is said to have made one of the biggest contributions to defeating Nazi Germany. Turing and his team at Bletchley Park cracked the code made by what German encryption machine? Yes, Zach. Enigma. That is correct. Uh, what Apple CEO refused to help the FBI unlock a cell phone used by one of the shooters in the 2015 San Bernardino terrorist attack? Yes, Dan. Uh, Tim Cook. That is correct. In September 1850, the United States passed what act that required runaway slaves to be brought back to their masters? Yes, Zach. The Fugitive Slave Act. Yes, a reproduction of the Statue of Liberty tops the dome of the statehouse 
in what capital city of Montana? Yes, Jake. Helena? Yes, that's correct. According to the CDC, which of the following is currently the leading cause of preventable death and disease in the United States? Is it A, obesity, B, smoking tobacco, or C, alcohol? Yes, Jake. A, obesity? No, hang on, you want to try it. Yes, Kyle? B. B, smoking tobacco would be correct. Math question. A quadrilateral has how many diagonals? Yes, Noah? Four. No, Sacred Heart? Jake, give Two. it a shot. Two is correct. Uh, the 1979 film Star Trek, The Motion Picture, is about what real-life NASA mission that later became the first spacecraft to travel beyond our solar system? Yes, Jonathan. Voyager. Voyager is correct. NAFTA, the landmark a legislation that effectively created a free trade bloc among the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, was signed into law by what U.S. president? Yes, Noah. Clinton. Yes, Bill Clinton. In the early 1500s, who created David, a masterpiece of a Renaissance sculpture that represents the biblical hero David, a favored subject in the art of Florence? Yes, Jake. Michelangelo. That is correct. In 1941, who gave a famous speech called The Four Freedoms, which outlined freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear? Yes, Jonathan. FDR. FDR is correct. In 2016, Construction workers in Oregon discovered a large femur uh, that belonged to what extinct Ice Age mammal related to modern elephants? Yes, Noah. Woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoth is correct. Which of the following is a synonym for avarice? Is it A, bravery, B, greed, C, knowledge? Yes, uh, Derek. Uh, B, greed. B, greed is right. England's Henry II acquired vast provinces in southern France through his marriage to what powerful French queen? Uh. Eleanor of Aquitaine is the answer there. Inspired by Jules Verne's fictional character Phileas Fogg, in 1889, what female reporter achieved world fame for racing around the world in 72 days? Uh. Nellie Bly is the answer there. We continue. Best known for his role as the reassuring dad on the TV show Growing Pains, what actor and composer passed away in 2016 at the age of 69? Yes, Jake. Alan Thicke. Alan Thicke is right. Math question. A cake is cut into 16 equal pieces. Seven pieces are eaten on Monday. Three more pieces are eaten on Tuesday. In lowest terms, what fraction of the cake is left? Yes, Jake. Three-eighths. Three-eighths is right. In 1987 in West Berlin, President Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. He was talking about the Berlin Wall and what historic gate? Yes, Zach. The Brandenburg Gate. Yes. Who won an Oscar for his lead role as a 19th century frontiersman left for dead after being mauled by a bear in the film The Revenant? Yes, Kyle. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, great movie. After Brazil, what is the second largest country in South America by land area? Yes, Jake. Argentina. Yes. What 1951 novel is narrated by a character named Holden Caulfield? Yes, Dan. Uh, Catcher in the Rye. Yes. In 1854, the British and French attacked Sevastopol, Russia's heavily fortified naval base on what sea? Yes, Zach. The Black Sea. Yes. What country is home to Mount uh, Hecla, a volcano that geologists say could erupt at any moment? Yes, Jonathan. Iceland? Yes. Uh, decorative sugar skulls are associated with what Mexican holiday? Yes, Zach. Day of the Dead. Yes. Name for the large bony spines on its back. What is the largest carnivorous dinosaur and the first dinosaur known to swim? Yes, Zach. Tyrannosaurus Rex. No. Sacred Heart, you want to try? Yes, Jonathan. Megalodon? No. Spinosaurus is the answer there. Uh, with over 1,500 spoken languages, which continent has the greatest linguistic diversity? Yes, Noah. Asia. No. Sacred Heart. Yes, Jake. Europe. No. Africa. First recorded for radio in 1952, what Dylan Thomas story is a nostalgic, bittersweet retelling of his boyhood Christmas holidays. Uh, a child's Christmas in Wales is the answer. 
And that's the end of round one. We look at the score right now. Hingham High School, 130 points. This is a close one. Sacred Heart, 150 points. Let's hear it, folks. <laughs> head round is next, but first, we take a breather. Uh, I've got a question in my hand, guys. Each of you will have a chance to answer it in your own way. So let's go. We're going to start with you, Noah. Uh, if you were given $100,000 to invest in one new technology, what would it be and why? I'd invest in cloning so that I could skip track practice. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. How about you, Zach? Um, I would invest in self-driving cars because they're really going to make the road safer. Okay, quick and easy. Kyle? I would invest in a way to make insects more appetizing to uh, consumers because they're a sustainable protein source. Okay. Uh, Dan? Uh, I would invest in a universal language translator so I could figure out why my dog keeps trying to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jake? I would invest in a line of cybernetic gloves that will allow contestants and game show aficionados alike to play the game without fearing the thought of the buzzer falling out of their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right to that then. Jonathan? Uh, I'd invest in a brain transplant so that you can have all information for a trivia game show. Ooh, nice. And then travel the country and the world playing game yeah. shows, right? Uh, Derek, how about you? I would create a virtual reality high school quiz show set so that I can always play high school quiz show. Yes, I like it. How about that? High school quiz show. Uh, finally, Nathan from Sacred Heart. How about you? Well, if one's good, two is better. I would design a robot Billy Costa. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Does that mean I get to take a break? Exactly. All right. Uh, it is time for the next round, and that is the head-to-head -head round, which means I need all of you from Hingham High, all of you from Sacred Heart, to come on down and go head-to-head. -to -head. Okay, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I've got Sacred Heart to my left. I have Hingham High to my right. Gentlemen, shake hands. It's only right, uh, and we'll get started. As a reminder, in this round, you get... 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. And the clock, gentlemen, is set at 90 seconds. Ready? Name the most abundant element in the Earth's sun. Yes. Hydrogen. Yes. What is the official currency of Japan? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, the source of the Amazon River is located in what mountain chain? Yes. Andes. Yes. Located under the rib cage, what purplish organ is responsible for storing platelets? The spleen. Uh, in June 2016, what Cleveland team won its first ever NBA championship? Yes. Uh, Indians. No, the Cavaliers. Ernest Hemingway's novel, A Farewell to Arms, is set during the Italian campaign of what war? Yes. World War I. World War I, yes. Uh, what city on the Danube River was once the seat of the Holy Roman Empire? <laughs> Vienna. Uh, who reprised her role as a friendly but forgetful fish in the film Finding Dory? Yes. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Uh, what 1851 novel tells the story of the obsessive quest of Captain Ahab? Yes. Moby Dick. Yes. Uh, the slogan, he kept us out of war, was used by what president running for re-election in 1916? Yes. Woodrow Wilson. Yes. Uh, what sex chromosome is normally present in both males and females? Yes. X. Yes. Uh, the Mojave Desert lies mainly in the southeastern part of what U.S. state? California. Uh, an amoeba has no fixed shape and is composed of how many cells? Yes. One. Yes. Uh, name the 16th president of the United States. Uh, Abraham Lincoln in 16... Oh! That's the end of round two. We'll take a look at the score. We have a tie. Hingham High School, 180 points. Sacred Heart, 180 points. I love it. It's a tie. Next up, the category round. Uh, since the score was tied uh, heading into this round, we used a coin toss to determine who will make the first selection. Hingham won the coin toss and will choose first. And the categories in the round are Tea Time, My Cousin Vinny, River Country, Pick Your Battles, Brave New Words, and Men in Tights. 
Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Uh, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you can no longer confer. We will need your answer. So, Hingham, you get the first category. What's it going to be? Pick your battles. Pick your battles. Questions about historic battles. Good luck. For 10 points, uh, King Harold, the last Anglo-Saxon king to rule England, was defeated by William the Conqueror at what? 1066 battle. Yes, Zach? Battle of Hastings. That is correct. And you'll keep the board, Hingham, category? Uh, pick your bats. This time for 15 points. Uh, though badly outnumbered, the English used their new weapon, the longbow, to defeat the French at what? 1415 battle in northern France during the Hundred Years' War. Yes, Zach? Battle of Agincourt. Yes, you've still got the board, Hingham. Pick your battles. For 20 points. Uh, in a single afternoon in September 490 BC, uh, the Athenians drove back the first Persian invasion of Greece at what decisive battle? Yes, Zach. Battle of Marathon. That is correct. You've still got the board, Hingham. Pick your battles. For 25 points on July 4th, 1863, after a three month siege, uh, General Grant won a key victory at what battle that gave the Union complete control of the Mississippi River? Yes, Noah. Vicksburg. Vicksburg is correct. You've still got the board, Hingham. Category. Uh, pick your battles for 30. 30 points at stake here. Nearly 300 Sioux men, women, and children were massacred by U.S. troops at what battle fought on December 29th, 1890 in South Dakota? Yes, Shake. Wounded Knee. Wounded Knee is correct. Sacred Heart, you've got the board. Category, though. Brave New Words. Brave New Words. This is a new category in the round, and it's questions about new words and phrases. And for 10 points, uh, what six-letter word refers to the landmark vote on June 23rd, 2016 on whether Great Britain would leave the European Union? Yes, Dan. Uh, Brexit. Brexit is right. Hingham, you've got the board back. Category? Uh, Brave New Words, 15. 15 points. Popularized by a 2014 Vine video. What two-word phrase originally referred to perfectly groomed eyebrows, but is now used to describe anything attractive or stylish? Yes, Zach. On fleek. On fleek is correct. And Hingham, you've still got the board. Uh, Brave New Words for 20. You've got it. Also known as a swing state, a U.S. state where the Democratic and Republican parties have similar support among voters is commonly called what color state? Yes, Dan. Uh, purple. Purple is right. Hingham, you've got the board category. Brave New Words. 25 points this time. TV host Stephen Colbert coined what 10-letter word that refers to the quality of seeming to be true according to one's intuition without regard to logic or evidence. Yes, Derek. Truthiness. Truthiness is right. And Sacred Heart, you've got the board back. Category. Brave New Words. Going for 30 points this time. Coined by comedian Harris Whittles in 2010, what word refers to a seemingly self-deprecating comment whose actual purpose is to brag about oneself? Yes, Dan. A humble brag. Humble brag is right. And Hingham, now you've got the board, but you'll need a category. Men in tights for 10. Men in tights. This is a new category. Uh, questions about medieval literature and for 10 points. Who wrote the epic poem, The Divine Comedy, after being exiled from Florence for life in 1302? Yes, Jake. Dante. Dante is right. And now, Sacred Heart, you've got the board. Uh, my Cousin Vinny for 10. My Cousin Vinny, a new category. Questions about men named Vincent, Vince, or Vin. And for 10 points, in the 1880s, what Dutch artist created a series of paintings called Sunflowers? Yes, Zach. Van Gogh. Van Gogh is right. You've got the board, Hingham. Tea time for 10. Tea time, another new category. All answers begin with... The letter T. And for 10 points, what element that has the highest melting point of all metallic elements is also known as Wolfram? Yes, Kyle. Tungsten. Tungsten is right. You've got the board. Hang up. River country for 10. River country. New category. Questions about rivers, you may have guessed. Uh, for 10 points, in June 2016, some artworks at the Louvre in Paris were moved to protect them from possible flooding after what river burst its banks from torrential rain? Yes, Zach. River Sen. The Sen is right. You've got the board, Hingham. Uh, tea time for 15. Tea time, 15 points. Uh, the outer four planets of the solar system are classified as gas giants. The four inner planets, which are rocky and have a solid surface, 
are classified as what type of planets? Yes, Noah. Terrestrial. Yes, and you've still got the board hanging. Men and Tice for 15. For 15 points. In the old English poem, Beowulf, the hero, kills what man-eating monster who lives in a swamp with his mother? Yes, Jonathan. Grendel. Grendel is right. Sacred Heart gets the board. Category. Tea time for 20. This time, 20 points. Uh, most gene expression is a two-step process. In the first step, uh, DNA is converted into RNA in a process called what? Yes, Jake. Replication. No, Hingham, you want a shot. Yes, Kyle. Transcription. I'm sorry? Transcription. Correct, and you've got the board Hingham category. My Cousin Vinny for 15. Uh, a new film version of the TV series Kojak will reportedly star what Fast and Furious actor whose real name is Mark Sinclair? Yes, Noah. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel is right. Hingham, you've got the board. River Country for 15. Nearly 3,000 miles long, what major river in Africa was formerly known as the Zaire River? Yes, Jake. The Nile. No, Hingham, you want a shot? Yes, Zach. The Congo River. Correct, and you've got the board. Um, men in tights for 20. For 20 points. The stories of Aladdin and Alibaba are part of what famous collection of folk tales written during the Islamic Golden Age? Yes, Jake. Arabian Nights. That's correct. You've got the board, Sacred Heart. My Cousin Vinny for 20. In uh, 1970, uh, the Super Bowl trophy was officially renamed in memory of what legendary coach of the Green Bay Packers? Yes, Kyle. Vince Lombardi. Yes, and now Hingham, you've got the board. Uh, my cousin Vinny for 25. 25, best known for his work in horror films such as 1953's House of Wax. What actor performs the eerie rap and spooky laugh on Michael Jackson's hit single, Thriller? <laughs> Vincent Price. Ooh, House of Wax. Very scary movie. Uh, you've still got the board. Hang up. Uh, river Country for 20. Uh, what river? The longest in Southeast Asia was the scene of heavy fighting during the Vietnam War. Yes, Jake. The Yellow? No, hang up. You want to try? The yes, Kong. no. The Mekong? Yes, that's correct. And you've got the board. Hang up. Um, Men in Tights for 25. Uh, according to legend, King Arthur will one day return from what magical island and rule Britain once again? Yes, Jonathan. Avalon. Correct, and you've got the board Sacred Heart. Men in tights for 30. 30 points. Only three female, female narrators appear in uh, Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Uh, the Prioress, the second nun, and who else? Yes, Jonathan. Wife of Bath. That is correct. You'll need a new category. You've got the board, Sacred Heart. My Cousin Vinny. 30 points at stake here. Known as baseball's voice of God, what legendary broadcaster called Dodgers games from 1950 to until his retirement in 2016? Yes, Dan. Uh, Vin Scully. Vin Scully is right. Hingham, you've got the board back. Tea time for 25. 25 points. Uh, what biome is characterized by heavy snow, harsh winters, short summers, and evergreen trees? Yes, Jake. Tundra. No, Hingham, you want to try? Yes, Noah. Tega. Tega is right, and Hingham, you've got the board. Oh, and there is the bell that ends the category round. The score right now, Hingham High School, 515 points. Sacred Heart, 255 points. How about it, everybody? Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round. Uh, you'll get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. It's going to move fast. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. What planet in the solar system is known as the Red Planet? Yes, Jake? Mars. Yes, Catching Fire is the second book in what popular... Yes. Hunger Games. Yes. Uh, what U.S. state is the site of Valley Forge National Historical Park? Yes, Zach. Pennsylvania. Yes, Microsoft recently announced a $26.2 billion deal to acquire what social network service for professionals? Yes, Zach. LinkedIn. Yes. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for copper? Yes, Jake. See you. Yes. In 2016, Australian businessman Craig Wright publicly claimed to be the creator of what digital currency? Yes, Noah. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. In 1939, modern orchestras agreed to tune to what note pitched at 440 hertz? Yes, Noah. A. A is correct. What American president founded and designed the University of Virginia? Yes, Jake. Jefferson. Yes. The Java Trench is located in what ocean? Jake. Pacific. No, Indian Ocean. What university is the setting for the film's love story and Legally Blonde? Yes, Jake. Harvard. Yes. In 1934, Adolf Hitler assumed the twin titles of Führer and Chancellor upon the death of what German president? 
Did not make it. Paul von Hindenburg of the answer. Uh, denim is named for Neem Franz, but jeans are named for what Italian city? Genoa. Uh, what Mark Twain novel follows Edward and Tom, two boys who look alike and trade places? Yes, Jake. The Prince and the Pauper. Yes, located south of Eureka. Oh, and that is the end of the game. Hingham High School, the winner this week on the High School Quiz Show. 615 points. Sacred Heart, first timers, the runner up, 335 points. Congratulations to both teams. So, uh, Hingham High School now moves on to play in the quarterfinals. Be sure you tune in, and we'll see you all back here next week for a high school quiz show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. of WGBH.